Can you even see anything? Yeah. Two clicks at a time. Not very many. Is that a quarter inch drive? Yep. Would my toothless ratchet help you any? I doubt it. Yeah. Man, it's about to wear my hands out completely. <laughs> the engineer that designed that, I hope he's dead. I really do. Now you see what I've been going through all day by myself doing this. The fucking ratchet turned the wrong direction or something. Piece of shit craftsman. Finally got that one. Now I go to this one. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. Now I'm like getting maxed out on the heat shield where it's not wanting to go all the way up on that stud. One click every time. I can't even get it all the way on there. 
piece of shit. Heat shield. I get the two nuts. this goes. And of course, the heat shield's in the way. Where I can't get it all the way up on there. There we go. And what's funny is the original didn't even have a heat shield. It had a place for it and the bolts, but no heat shield. Just snug these up for now and get them in place. Flashlight go dead. I guess. Yep. Let me change batteries. Time now for a commercial break. From a word from our sponsors. Hear all the words coming from? Crickets. Exactly. Not not a sponsor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back to my cramped quarters. This freaking thing keeps hitting me in the eyeball every time I ratchet. Yeah, I got a, a close shot of it. I zoomed in, forgot when you flipped it up. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, I had it here. Every time I'm ratcheting it, it flies back and hits me right in the eye. Okay. I've had rust, metal, Fragments off of this, penetrate and oil, and an electrical connector in my eye on this job here. And what do you get for it? Heartaches, nothing but heartaches, like burning five. Pissed off, that's what I get. <laughs> Just like I like this bolt right here, how it smacks me right here on the thumb. Every time I go to tighten this up, I wish they could permanently leave it there somehow. So it smacks my head every time I work on it. Lovely, it is just lovely. I'll see if I can get this hog back up in there. Shoot some more videos from the bottom so you turn the jackhammer on. It is on, it's just not ready.
I thought it was 18 wheeler outside. Yeah. It's like one of the trucks at work. You wouldn't believe how many times I've had to pick stuff up off of it. About a 20 hertz. About a 20 hertz tone. Yeah. Uh, I hear a hmm. Above you. I know my neck's hurting from doing this for two days. You got whiplash or whips off. <laughs> whips off. Nah, Fred, you're, nah, Fred, you're thinking of whips off. Huh. I'm talking whiplash. Let's see who's winning the race. What year was that race? 2000, April of 2000, Earnhardt Jr. won it. It was his first race he ever won in the Cup Series. Wow, it feels like I'm running at an incredible rate. <laughs> so human cigarette went out. All right, let's see what concoction I need to put together. You gotta start from the rear and work your way forward when you tie. So I'm gonna have to get the ladder and go up and down the ladder. Where my swivel is. Alright, let's absolutely perfect. Not at all. See that 13 millimeter or a half inch? It's still on it. Ratchet wrench I just used. Oh, it's on the running board. Yeah, Don't mind me, I'm just documenting. <laughs> well, I've changed locations. So it's nearest you. Well, what do you see how much room you have up in here when you go to put the starter back on? They did it on purpose. I know they did. I heard them giggle. That's a ten foot pounds out there. I don't know what it is. Watch out, flying <laughs> parts. It's almost turned. The shield saved it. Almost turned into a three D movie. Wow, this one is talking to be a mechanic when a <laughs> wrench flies in my eye. <laughs> I've had that. I don't know, a ratchet. Yeah, a 
three-eighths ratchet, right in my eyeball. Didn't even have time to close the lid. Get it. Stand on my stool so I can bury my head up in here. Now all you see is my head. Nope, shout out. That's got a ways to go, too. I'm gonna turn my back on it. Am I still there? I'm contacting nothing. You're against the stud. Oh, okay. I've gotta figure out a way to get up in there with a ratchet or something. Maybe. Maybe we need to call our to Toyota dealership and have their Chief Master Oil Changer Mechanic tells how to do it. Yeah, he can tell me exactly how. What <laughs> I need to do yeah. something, I'm sure. He'll explain in detail how you're not doing it right. How you, how you cannot do that. <laughs> yeah. See if this piece of donkey dump will work. Cannot emphasize how much. Oh, you yeah, that works perfect. You cannot do that. <laughs> I love how great that. You have every correct tool for the job. This will work awesome too, I'm sure. Somewhere, and if you don't, if you don't have the right tool for the job, you come by the farm and get it. <laughs> like a walk jaw. Yeah, that like did this to my leg when they fell. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a scratch. There they are, lock doll, my strips. You didn't drop my lock doll, did you? Yeah, don't worry, my leg <laughs> caught broke the fall. <laughs> Scratch me like a cat. Oh, that works great too. Look at that reach on that. It's supposed to have 35 extensions and swivels. It's supposed to come down and hit you in the jaw. Well, it missed and it caught me in the leg. Perfect, look at that. How about having me that ratchet back there so I can finish this off? I heard it tick. It must have been 17 foot pounds. 18. Oh, right. I need one more tick. Yeah, well, here, here it comes. Now it's wedged. <laughs> How do I know? Yeah, I've already been through it. This is how I spend my Saturday nights. Ouch. I say I needed a hammer. I need it out of there. Let me get my pry bar. <laughs> Got an uh, 11 year old rust in my eye. What a champ. Told you I had all the right tools. I'm going to get the um, that corner right there. Be the first time you've done it. Be the first time for this one. Yep. Hello, wires. Down there. Right here at my feet. Which one? It don't matter either one. Pull. Ugh. 
Need the trusty ratchet wrench again. Can't see nothing. You need to do it. I got it. You need to do a Survivor Man type film where you film for a while, then you stop and you move your camera, then you yeah. <laughs> go back and refilm it. Yeah, after I do this, I gotta go unhook it all so yeah. I can go back and get the camera and change <laughs> angles. <laughs> I used to crack me up and walk. I am. Walk on the wrong way. Taking it back off. I was really serious. <laughs> you was about to take it off and reshoot that whole scene. Yeah. I was just checking to make sure it was torqued down right. Come oh. um, Back to the Future, too, huh? I'm sorry I missed that whole thing. Yeah, I'm sorry. I missed that whole thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is going to be a fun one, too. They save all the phones for the passenger side. All right. I don't know how you got those broken off studs out. On the exhaust flange? No, the it broke off in the head. Oh, there's a video for that. Whoa. Uh, I already yeah. uploaded that one earlier today while I was taking my lunch. Well, what kind of injuries did you get from it? Uh, I burnt the heck out of my finger where it's numb. I think I documented that already. It, it don't hurt no more. No skin. Well, I, you're turning, you know, like this, trying to, trying to hold something and weld. Like what? And I had my finally got my welding helmet down while I moved, so the torch is here. The torch is welding my finger, and the electricity shot out the other side of the nut, but it burnt this side. Yeah. The outside, yeah, nothing wrong. Yeah. My only question, did you get it on video? No. It didn't happen, though. <laughs> Come behind me here. You didn't you didn't document a daggone thing. No, I didn't. This light's in the way here. Let me try to figure out. How in the world are we supposed to have a YouTube channel without documentation? <laughs> can you still get up in there? I'd say your your herd or your Oh my head's sweaty, sir. So. Right, no. It's probably shining. Can you see it? No. Nope. Can you see anything? Hold on. Let me give me yeah, NASCAR race. Can we stay and watch it? <laughs> there we go. Oh, all the wrong gear. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get put the electronic device on it. Let's see if I can get it in gear. Until I get ready to torque it down. Yeah. Slam into the next. Get, <laughs> sling it into the next county. Okay. through all those extensions and whatnot. Now I'm just gonna torque it down. Then get the upper. Then get to what they call it the third part. I'll probably be sleeping like this tonight. Man. Hmm. I hear a hmm from upstairs there. What they call it a third person perspective like on San Andreas? Yeah. Or you're standing behind the character all the time. <laughs> What's left of it? This is some professional footage we're shooting here. <coughs> Wait till I go to put the starter in. I'm telling you, that was, it was fun getting it out of there. I wish I could do those every day. Let me get up here on my stool again. Let me get up on the pedestal again. Nope, that's not that. Solid as a rock. Oh. Again, I see nothing. Yeah, your your head's a brake rotor. I'm gonna sit here till you figure it out.
Need that American copper music. Yeah. Do 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 do. Boom 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 do 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 do. And this thing's eat up with the rust. Look, the whole rocker panel down here is disintegrated. It's only 10 years old, 11 years old. That's usually a shippy thing. You must have seen a lot of salt. I don't know if you bought it brand new or not. I'll have to ask him. Get back on the ladder to listen so you can actually see something happening. Go through right here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a gas leak, a <laughs> methane leak. <laughs> it wasn't me. Take it down wind. Is that that gone? Leaky manifold. Is that a petrol leak? I'm uploading everything. I don't care. I'm not editing. It's high octane. Yeah. That phone's got a really good microphone, too. You hear that? It wasn't me. That's what we think about it. <laughs> all right. They're all snug. Let me hook back these electronics here. I need that one that was smacking me in the eyeball earlier. It is. Spit, it is. Spitting out some hydrocarbons. <laughs> Let's see. Nope. Nope. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I, I heard a mm hmm from upstairs. <sighs> right. Retract. What happens if I touch the positive wire to the post? Uh, the truck goes up in flames because yeah. the starter wire is on, the, on the frame. <laughs> I saw it earlier. That's, I was watching where it Where's the, uh, listen. Oh, here it is. Right here. Never mind. Found it. It was on break. That's why I have my elbow on the post. That way it wouldn't. That's why that thing stuck in my arm. Look at that. Now all I got to do is tighten hey. these two bottom nuts there and then connect the battery up and fire it up and See if she's quiet. Or as they used to say, all we have left to do is everything. I'll be glad when it's done, you know that. Off the road the other day, I smacked the, the grand dam through there. It gave it what for? Gave the tree what for, too. Whoops. Still works. Some it gives it character. Fancy body work. Yeah, it gives it character. Don't show up, good on camera. Oh, don't. There we go. It looks like somebody went. Oh, dang. Old rocker panel here is. I pulled it back out there. I did my best imitation of Sterling Marlin in the Daytona 500. Watch this receiver. If anybody is watching that's going to be at the car show, are you really going to let this one wheel wondered Ranger out, do you? Bring your best, see what you got. And now, back to the shop. I'm going to the wheel shows. 
Remember that tire? Go. Yeah. Remember that tire I came here on? Go. The kid does have good hands though. Good hands. Poor taste in automobiles. Will it cost any money to fix? Yeah, just like I told him I would replace that starter, being it's original with 180 something thousand miles on it. While I had to have it out anyways. Uh, <laughs> no, that, that costs money. Uh, nope. Uh, that's going to be fun getting up in there. Get that popping. See what the old Swivel has to say about it. Swivel says that won't happen either. I'm going to force it to change its mind. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. Like I, can. I was on camera too because I just zoomed out. Did you? <laughs> I missed it. Are you gonna say I got reflexes like a cat? Two monsters in the background. One's a torque monster and one's a flex monster. Yeah. <laughs> Go off here. We got machine guns. Let me check it. I always think that's got an extra step up above that. Always I think it's got one fewer step. I go to that last step's a doozy. That fits great. Perfect. I got a picture of your uh, hot dog roll on the back of your neck right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just looking up. That's my, that's my neck's broke. Yeah, see, you do it again. Yeah. <laughs> all you need now is a bun. It's all my, it's all my, it's all my skin wadded up from doing yeah. that all day long. Ah. All right, let's see if I can get this starter up and then get the bolt started. Let me start the starter bolts. I've seen, seen some people that had 
a six a whole six pack of hot dogs on the back. <laughs> I've seen some of the twelve and eighteen. <laughs> this is the fun part. This is where I beat the devil. This is where I sling the starter through the window. Yeah. Just beat the devil out. Uh, That's what you need. Bob Ross Afro. Yeah. Just a wig. I can't take the heat. <laughs> well, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> I am. I'm in the garage. <laughs> I don't know how that handle keeps getting further and further down there like that. All right. What do you have to say about it, uh, Buzzy Buzzard? Let me zoom in on him. If I can get the. Yeah. <laughs> Are you doing the starter? Yeah, I'm trying to squeeze up through there. I'm trying to... A little persuasion? Yeah. They don't want to be persuaded. You got to smack that back part of it just a little bit. To try and get it in there. Now it's going to come back out of here. You couldn't, couldn't put a sheet of tissue paper, tissue paper between it. <laughs> it was that close. And they was kissing. Kissing! <laughs> There we go, look at that, right in there. Got the whole truck shaking. That's good. I applied plenty of torque. What is the name of that? My, uh, my head's about to fall over backwards and I'll be able to keep, see my butt at the same time. <laughs> what is the name of that thing you used to have back in elementary school where you put the triangle piece through a triangle hole and round through round and all oh, that kind of stuff? I don't know what that was called. I don't know what it's called, but the- Pain in the rear. <laughs> Very confusing. Us mechanics, we have to stick round things through a triangle shaped hole sometimes. Wait until you see where the top bolt's at. I, mean, I, I wouldn't have put it nowhere else. That's just it. I, I just figured out what's wrong with the engineers that design the stuff. They couldn't pass that simple test as a kid. <laughs> yeah. They were trying to put the Long. They were putting the square pegs in the round holes. So. Yeah, they were trying to. It wouldn't fit, so they... <laughs> I don't know what they did. We'll just move it over here. We'll, we'll just uh, build the, the we'll can... We'll, we'll build the canister around the piece. We're going to test that. Three feet of extensions again. Ain't nobody else gonna go through all this hard work no more. Yep. We'll try it. The, the Moco guy's way. Moco Loco, uh, Loco, or whatever his name is. Never heard of them. Still using a short a shadow socket.
Some people have hamburger meat hanging out. You got the, the hot dog roll, <laughs> rolling around. Everybody does that. Yeah. I don't know, you can't see it because of the long hair on most people. Yeah. <laughs> What's well, funny is everybody that watches the videos after this, if they hear that, that's all they're going to think of from now on. Sure was doing some ratchet man. It's turning it, but it's not even seated on the freaking bolt all the way. Oh man. Getting aggravated. I still gotta do that woman's radio backup camera tomorrow. Yeah. They're dropping off down here at 10 30 in the morning. 10 30 in the morning. You got it. Why in the world would somebody be out at that time? Okay, that's why I told him to come. <laughs> Can't believe you. there's not a single job in this town. Nothing, not a zip. Yeah, unless you want to work 40 hours a week. <laughs> That's car race would be over half over by the time you get a starter on. <laughs> yep. Right. We don't charge by the hour, we charge by the NASCAR lap. That swivel just isn't cutting. I think I need to put another 30 feet of extension in there. Tired of picking that one up. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I thought it hit my foot. That's not it. Did you see it? It's right there in the hole. Where? Right there? Yeah, is that it? Oh, yeah, that's it. <clears throat> I caught that out of my peripheral vision. I, I thought was... it hit my foot. Speaking of that woman, she just matched me a while ago. <laughs> oh, really? She must have heard us talking. 10 30 in the morning. Yeah. I will be bringing my car at 10.30 in the morning, just reminding you. You don't have to remind me. I should have said. I'm already here waiting. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> I thought you said 10.30 at night. Yeah. <laughs> the world gets out at 10 o'clock and 10.30 in the morning. Yeah. We're all not mechanics. Here it is. 11.30. 11.30? 11.30. 11.31. Just a <laughs> you know women, everything's got to be perfect. Yeah. You should have told her thanks for the 11 hour notice. I told her the other Why day. I need a bolt four inches long to go in there. Uh, part of the bell housing that's, you know, three quarters of an inch long. That's really amazing. Oh yeah, 
this is a factory starter that's never been taken off that I know of. And that third bolt, the one that's so hard to get to, I don't even think they put it all the way in from the factory. It was stuck out that much, unscrewed. Yeah. It's a Friday. I guess. The arms. I'll lay down in the bed and not go. <laughs> Why don't you get you a can of spinach and leave down here like Popeye? I'm talking about my neck killing me too. Uh, I still got like half an inch to go. I mean, it's. Man, that just wears you out. I know exactly why they make them that long. The oh. daggone double shifts get paid by an hour. Uh, yeah. You get paid by the job. It's been about, about 12 hours since I had anything to eat. I keep working on my dog. I have to eat it four or five times. Doing all this. And I gotta have something that'll put me up there a little bit higher. Just a little bit. That way I don't have to bend my neck. Well, you're 49 minutes and 20 seconds into it. Already? Right. Yeah. Oh, final torque. It'll be about an hour and a half episode if it's on TV. Yeah. Yeah. Ace Ventura. That's what you need, one of the hairdos like he had. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody messes with the dude. Now, somehow I've got to sink that other bolt up in there. This one. Don't just stand there, toss me a ratchet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That expedition only had one. It's twice the torque of that expedition. The fire chief says he likes you. You make him laugh. <laughs> when you burn your finger, you cry like sissy girl. <laughs> There's just a little peephole to see up through there. Like you're surfing or something. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I'm losing my shorts. I don't show on camera. I can't even see it. I see it. There it was. How do I get up to it? Great question.
to get to that thing. There's probably somebody, oh, I saw a YouTube video. Somebody did that in 10 minutes. Yeah. Start just, to finish. Just edit this 51 minutes, condense it down into about a minute and a half. Yeah. Piece of cake. What they call the magic of television. This is no place to put a starter. They couldn't put it right here on this side. You got all that open space over there. No, let's put it on the hard side. So much room for activities. Yeah, I can't even begin to get up in there. It's looking more and more like this guy's not getting the third bolt. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Document my footsteps here. Run that. Close. I'm tightening it with my fingertips like this. That's the only way I can get up there to it. Thirteen and a half miles of extensions. I don't even know how I'm going to get up. First, you're going to go through West Virginia, Virginia, uh, Virginia, Kentucky, Ohio. Oh. Back through Virginia. On the Adam Street. And uh, back into Mayberry on Route 3. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. The owner of the garage is Wayne Metcalf. Yeah, Wayne Metcalf. Minutes of just this part. I wonder if I can bunny hop this sucker. Do, 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 do. Ah, there we go. Right, what's the name? Saves my neck. I don't always wrench on the. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have to turn the camera a little sideways where we can catch it on. I don't always work on Ford, but when I do, I prefer ratcheting wrenches. Not, not a sponsor. With a uh, cuss hat or cuss hat. We have to bleep that one cuss out over there. Go, ah, uh, beep. Or no, no, do like Max Havering. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to start putting animal sounds over it like a. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Nelly? Yeah. yeah. When I smash my fingers on the ah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm getting ready to 
just saw it. You'll need these. Damn. Oh. Yeah, do like Doc Brown to blow the fuel injection manifold. A month? You're gonna uh, the customers coming to pick, uh, pick it up Monday. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> we just have to take it of a tool chest falling down the stairs. The infamous 10 millimeter. Sponsored by Lord Infamous. <laughs> the Scarecrow. <laughs> yeah, and a coops I can't even pronounce that one guy's name. Uh, Koopsta Nico or something. Well, I, I can't remember. Never heard of him. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's the one that sings in the background when oh, uh, Scarecrow's singing. He got that real deep sounding voice. The one that always repeats everything? Yeah. <laughs> you got DJ Paul, Lord Infamous, uh, Lachette. Uh, Scarecrow. I don't know what the heck is going on with this freaking metal here. Uh, What's the other woman? Uh, she ain't been on there in years. Uh, Scarecrow. Juicy J. Coopsta. Coopsta. Here, I'll look it up on the phone. That sounds familiar for yeah. some reason. I'll look uh, the album mart up. Does it tell? Damn. How do I get that off? I don't even know what it looks like or nothing. Me neither. Never heard of it. She would have gotten a new starter. You can't get nothing on that because of that. That nut is so rusty. Off, I'm not responsible. <laughs> hey, slow down. It's 35. Idiot. I want the white BMW, was it? I couldn't see you over here. Okay. Ah, there we go. 
You see that? He went right around my corner. Yeah, reach back, reach back to where they was made. This one wasn't made in China. It's older. It's older than a Chinese. Longer. See how good the pipes fix up. Are you gonna need inside here tomorrow? Let me check the weather real fast and see. If not, I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to come down here and put on the inner fenders. Yeah. Are you still not on there tight? Or is it just, I think this is free spinning. This thing had the green corrosion all over it. It's probably even started. No, oh, man, that green corrosion, that's a uh, copper Loctite. Yeah. Look at all the transmission fluid all over the exhaust pipe on it. What do you do? Four wheeler or something? It's leaking pretty good. Better keep an eye on these transmissions. Well, I think the weather forecast is they're not calling for any rain really tomorrow. All right, there we go. 70, oh, 70 degrees, light winds. Yeah, light wind, and it'll be about 450 miles an hour winds tomorrow. There you go. Ooh. Heard them. That's why everybody's scared of this place. Down here, I'm not scared of it. I'll come down here and take a dump anytime. Hey, <laughs> scared. Yeah. Hey. Almost there. Yeah, I like that little bolt started right in there. Should have seen all the corrosion. I've had to like beat and bang on these bolts from all the corrosion. Beat and bang on the bolts. Sound like a good uh, See, look, they don't even want to go up to the compressor from all the corrosion. I love that. The air compressor ones. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> there was that song I was talking about the other day. We were talking about money or something. Like that. So I, I, I give you 7000 up front. Yeah. So, That's chicken shit money. <laughs> 7000 Is that all? Yeah. yeah. It's pissing me off. Get in there. Come on down to the garage. You were there for 11 years. Yeah. Uh, Rinky Dink Records, that skit they had. Yeah. This is really pissing me off, man. You were there for fucking 11 years. Get the hell back in there. Yeah, here's that guy's name. K O O P S T A K N I C C A. He's on one of our songs right here. I have no clue. Still. That number six song, right? We ain't playing. Yeah. I ain't playing either. I want this freaking bolt to go in here. Gangsta Boo, that's who I was thinking yeah, of. Yeah. <laughs> Juicy J. T Rock. Never heard of him. Lil White the White one. <laughs> that's a good looking dude. Yeah. Lil White the White. <laughs> 
<laughs> I always, when I was a kid, I thought he said, uh, Lil Wayne.